getting your UAS operator certificate is just the very beginning of your experience here at UND Aerospace. Uh, the technology grows from there. Um, that small stuff is just a way to get started and to learn about the rules, the regulations, the weather, the interaction with people. You fly so many different platforms. So you start in 126, you're flying just this cute little drone. Bigger quadcopters, you fly a fixed wing. They get to move into a larger platform, which we call is the Scan Eagle. And so our students get to see what that automation looks like and what it really feels like to fly an aircraft that can fly up to 23,000 feet, 24,000 feet, and can fly for up to 24 hours nonstop. And then by the time you finish the program, uh, through the high altitude track, you're flying a simulator for the MQ-1, MQ-9, high altitude, long endurance type aircraft. We have LIDAR technology, light detection and radar uh, technology that our students are now having access to and be able to learn about what does that look like, how can I use this technology to solve problems. My favorite thing about the UAS program is the diversity of aircraft that we get to use. Um, it's not just your quadcopter, we also have fixed wings, we have um, kind of those larger unmanned aircraft that we fly out at airports. There's so many different types of aircraft that we're lucky to be able to fly. One of the big parts of the UAS program is the hands-on experience that you get. We're still learning how to integrate into the national airspace system. And so when you start setting up all the equipment, for example, our Boeing and Situ Scan Eagle, um, this thing launches from uh, a catapult that goes from zero to 60 in about 10 feet, launches into the air and flies for about 24 hours. But then it has to come back and it needs to be able to, to come back and be recovered in a very small footprint. And so with a technology that's used to recover that aircraft as well, you have to set that equipment up. You have to set up that fiber optic lines and think about what are my issues, what are my risks associated with this. You need to make sure that you're talking to all the people and the operators in the environment to make sure they know that you're gonna be in that operator, that operation flying. You're gonna to have to establish the NOTAM so that you can let other airmen know that you're gonna be flying on that given day. And so you start becoming this person who has an understanding of all the different aspects of aviation because you have to integrate and work with all the other people that are gonna be flying in that national airspace system. Getting a degree in unmanned systems absolutely sets you up uh, for success in the future um, because it's more than just learning how to fly the small drones, it's teaching you you know, the programming that goes into it, uh, the project management, the applications, and then here at UND specifically, getting you in touch with people in the community. Uh, North Dakota and then Grand Forks in specific is a huge hub for UAS operations and um, drones specifically. Multiple companies are deciding to come here because they see this ecosystem, they see this environment where we have also UND Aerospace, we had the Northern Plains UAS test site, we had the Research Institute for Autonomous Systems right here at UND. Grand Forks, North Dakota is actually known for kind of being the front leading edge of the UAS world. Um, we're lucky enough to have an aviation program here that does support the unmanned aircraft world as well. Uh, the connections that we have with professionals in the industry from all different angles um, is an incredible opportunity for any student to grow. Being a part of the actual research process, getting to work with the FAA and all of these leaders in the industry, uh, the people who are actually making the changes and writing the policies and, and making the decisions, uh, that's really, really exciting. We're seeing increases in technology, increases in automation. The things that we're learning in the UAS industry is helping to strengthen the overall aviation industry. I, I'm really, really looking forward to taking all of the skills that I've learned. Um, all of the flight experience that I've gained um, and using that to start new programs, help people, absolutely set me up for a career.